Um, in August of 2009, I was diagnosed with stage four throat cancer. Um, I was immediately scheduled for surgery for the removal of the cancer. And shortly after that, I started uh, chemotherapy and radiation treatment, which lasted for approximately two months. Along toward the end of my radiation treatment, when I was barely dragging myself in the office, the technicians, they would just come up and put their arm around me and ask me, do you need a wheelchair or I'll even carry you if you want me to. I mean, they went the extra mile to make sure that I had what I needed to get through this. Intermountain Healthcare and the doctors that we dealt with during this process uh, couldn't have been any better. For example, a day when Colleen would have to go in or my wife would have to go in and do uh, chemotherapy, IV, and radiation, there was always contact. We're just about done with chemotherapy. She'll be coming over to IV services. IV services would be over there. Uh, those are things that uh, you just can't put a value on, that kind of coordination of taking care of the, the situation for you because you're already going through enough and they're doing just all those extra things to make it easier on you and make it easier on everybody and, and, and make sure that she got the, the best treatment possible. Well, I thought the collaboration was excellent between my surgeon and my chemotherapist and my oncologist. They were all equally concerned with how ill I was and their efforts to try and make me well again. So I, I felt that it was an extraordinary working relationship between the three of them. From the receptionist at the front desk to the technicians, uh, the nurses, they greeted me by name. They knew who I was. They asked me how I was feeling. They asked me if there was anything I needed. So uh, really, it was more like family than doctors and nurses.